I don't remember anything that's in this box already. I got a book. Oh, sweet. Welcome and to Dusted Gamers. It's marked. We're playing play. Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Because this, this month's Loot Crate that we're reviewing, the December 2016 Loot Crate, has some Assassin's Creed goodies in it. And a Mr. Robot shirt. And I really didn't want to deal with trying to figure out Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Get the connection? Yeah. It, Russia has nothing to do with Mr. Robot. Hacking? Russia? Hacking? Mr. Robot? Everything hacking. in the world has something to do with <laughs> hacking right now. Uh, like, everything has something to do with hacking right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, so if I already brought up the shirt. We got a pretty sweet Mr. Robot shirt. Have you watched any of Mr. I Robot? I have not watched a single episode. I think it's a really ugly shirt. Actually, I, I mean, really, it's, it's I really supposed like to look like, like the anonymous face guy. But it's like Mr. Robot's weird spin on it. But he looks like a weird, like, chubby Mario or something. I don't know what he's supposed to look like. This is apparently the terrible version of Assassin's Creed Chronicles, by the way. Like, <laughs> So it's the terrible version like of the terrible game? Well, there's the three of them. The first one's fun. The second one was a little bit hard. And then this one's supposed to be, like, just bad. I didn't I have enjoy it. a moment of this game. I love them because they're, they're totally, like, the stealth game that I like. Uh, the stealth ninja one. Yeah, Mr. Robot's been on my list of things that I should watch, and I don't know. I'm so I, far I've seen the first episode of it, shows. and I just I, I didn't I didn't really enjoy it that much. Oh, this game's black and white. Is it is it AMC? Is it an AMC show? I honestly don't. I think it's USA. All I know is it's hard to watch. There's not like so you got you got there's it's not a, a there's not like an easy way to watch it. It's supposed to be like a uh, Mr. Robot shirt, but it's like a stencil that's been spray painted, and then there's like a weird like like a fake drip on it. Like everything yeah. else looks like a stenciled spray painted shirt, but then like part of the image, like the actual design, has like a weird drip down thing that's clearly not a stencil drip. And then like that's type. just. Then, that's like, just somebody who's spray painted who's being really picky though. That and like the weird, <laughs> like it stands weird, like, out like a sore thumb to me. It has like a weird type on it also, like for right. the name. Yeah, I don't know what any of that stuff is because I haven't seen it. Right. So what else did you get in this damn box? Because we got the um, we apparently don't care for the shirt. <laughs> I like the shirt. I I you've even seen Mr. Robot. You just so I it. still like the shirt. All right. Uh, we had the um, Assassin's Creed Angular Funko Pop. Which, I have no idea because he's probably from the video game that we're not playing right now, uh, which is Syndicate. You turned off this light on me. Well, it. I mean, he's got to be. He's, he's from the game. He's from the movie. He's Michael Fassbender's character in the movie. Is he really Michael Fassbender? He doesn't look like Michael Fassbender's character. I feel like I, I I've just been sitting here for like a moment, not knowing what to do. I want to go back and try something else. Oh yeah, you probably drop right there, hence the red platform. But uh, I, I don't know how to drop down. It won't let me drop down. I don't know. Jump. Jump. I don't know. Um. So yeah, we're not gonna go see that movie. <laughs> I might go see it without you tomorrow, since you're probably never gonna go see it. That's fine. If I'm. I mean, bored, I want to see the movie. If I'm bored enough to get up and go see it. I want to see the movie. There's just too many other movies out right now to. Right. And we only have two days off where we do anything. And with it being Christmas time, I have a Christmas party on Friday. So, I mean, that makes it like... I have a gun. Why can't I just shoot this guy? Almost no time to do anything. <laughs> um, so then there was the... We're on the Assassin's Creed part. So the... Um, so the, it's, a, it's a kneeling pop... For Michael Fassbender's assassin character from the movie, yeah, which it could it well, it would have been probably really bad if it had been from the uh, game because it would have been either the main characters and it would have been really disturbing that it was uh, not somebody recognizable. Like if it was neither of the main fucking characters, I would have been like, why even bother? That's super stylized. This yeah. the game, yeah. Um, wow, that took way. They did. They hit. well. I I actually it was just kept hitting him, oh. and then I realized I could kill him with the button. Um, 
Well, they did that with all three of these. The first one had the India look, which would look a lot like Far Cry. Right. And then uh, the second one I can't even remember anymore. But this one's Russia. China. The first one was China. The second one was India. Was it the other way around? I think the second one was China. I don't know. Oh, yeah, because they were in alphabetical order. <laughs> it's like it said China first. <laughs> and then, uh... Okay. So he just knows the number to the downstairs one? Well, yeah. Of course he does. Okay, I can lock um, And then the pin this month is Assassin's Creed pin. It's... A just, pretty just, normal looking yeah, just a pin. Assassin's Creed Can thing. I, I just picked the lock. How do I get out? Oh, uh, you read that stuff right there. Oh. And then it has um, the Loot Crate DLC stuff for the... Which, what is that? Does the book tell you what that is? Yeah, but I can't read that much. Well, turn on the light. It's right above you. <laughs> I keep blaming everything on the light. It's a circle knob. No, it won't turn on. There it goes. Ah, right. So is it? So it's. It comes with a pin. They've all come with pins now, but the pins have gotten really kind of uh, like standard pins. They're almost like normal pins, like instead of loot crate weird pins. Well, which they. So I like. I like and hate it. Like right, I rather right. have like if I'm gonna have an Assassin's Creed pin, I rather have like a cool Assassin's Creed pin than a, a fucking. In uh, Pin features the emblem of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This month's DLC is a digital expert excer, expert excerpt from the new Assassin's Creed Hearsey novel. So it's not even from the game either? Nope, I thought it said it was from the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a small part of a book. So, there's that. Neat. Um, and then, the best part about this one is... This crazy awesome button. coffee table book, figure fantasy, the pop culture photogra photography of Daniel Picard. This thing's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It has, has it has a bunch of uh, it's like pictures of toys and stuff, but like, and cosplay people. It's cos a lot of different cosplay people. And they're they're like uh, characters in like real life situations. So like. Uh, I know one of the ones I'm going to be popping on the screen is like Darth Vader at a urinal. I like the... And then um, there's uh, Superman. It's like stuff they do on their day off or like... I got, I'm got i stuck again because I don't know what I'm fucking doing. The best one was to me was the... Um, Maybe I need to go The up. Joker doing the carnival. Oh, I, the, the ones we're going to show on screen because I took some pictures is uh, uh, Superman marking off that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Yeah, that was pretty great. And then... Uh, uh, I just love that one. I got a... I don't remember what else. I took another picture, but I don't remember what it was. Superman as Clark Kent. <laughs> oh, I took Superman as the uh, lifeguard. But yeah, I, I'm actually jealous of the book. Awesome. For for 25 bucks, even though it's like, you know, it's random, so whatever. It's a, it's a pretty good deal getting something like that. I mean, a shirt in this book would cost you forty dollars. Yeah, I mean, they it definitely feels like a valuable loot crate this month. And it and it's forwarded by Simon. But the problem is with these of these things, it's like if you don't get something you want, you're kind of bone. Right. Like it, the uh, arcade block, uh, the arcade block this month had like a Diablo book, and it's like, man, if you get the Diablo book and you don't like Diablo, you're fucked. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can always sell that stuff, though. I mean, well, that's what a lot of people. A lot of people have subscriptions. They sell them on eBay, sell all the stuff they don't like. Um, and the cool but thing is, but we're too fucking lazy to sell stuff on eBay. I know I have a huge box of loot crate stuff. Yeah. I mean, I keep saying I'm keeping it because you know, one thing I love when because we're I, pack rats and we keep everything. Yeah, that too. Is my dad had a closet full of like stuffed animals. And I got to randomly choose one, so I thought it'd be cool when I have kids and be like. You want to pick out a toy from my box? That sounds really pedophilic. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just because of you. Uh, but the book's forwarded by... Uh, <laughs> I got Simon. box toys. You want to come over to my house? Check out my box of toys? Oh, fuck. The train's leaving. The book is forwarded by Simon Pegg and afterward by Kevin Smith, which is kind of cool, too. Oh, fuck. Somebody stopped the train. There's a guy on top. I'm thinking you're supposed what to else run up that. What else did we get on the fucking... Is that it? I feel like there was something else. 
I'm pretty sure that's it. It was a fair. Oh, fair, you, your the firefly patches. The firefly patches that we that looks like we got extra, but we haven't been able to go online and verify it. That was an accident yet. It feels like an accident. Well, and they were stacked Cause, together because they were they were firefly patches in like a little envelope, and there we got three of them, which is weird. It just seems like a weird thing to just like unless they just fucking had a ton of them. Somebody was like, you know what? Just give them all out. So I've been wanting to make the Loot Crate shirt, or not the Loot Crate shirts, uh, Dusty Gamer shirts. I mean, we don't even technically have a logo yet. I was just going to go with my logo I made forever ago. And I was like, I could put these patches on my Angie and Robert shirt. (laughs) Does any of us like Firefly? I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... I don't think any of us watched it, though. The either. actor's kind of cool, because he's the guy from Halo. Well, I mean... Uh, and, he's and the Halo Recon guy and the Halo 5 guy. Buck. Yeah, Buck. But, I, I mean, I've, I've seen the movie well, it's it's, the, the, with Serenity, Yeah. and it was okay. I, I'm fucking lost again. This is what's so you're supposed to go frustrating about this game. Around. Oh, I can go down here. Um, you spend half the time trying to figure out where to go, and the other half the time you just figure out how to get past really annoying enemies. Right. <laughs> um, and also has the Alan I can never remember how to say his last name the guy that played uh, Ultron in what? in Serenity? yeah he's or in Firefly it. or whatever both of them I don't know who that is I only know Alan Turkew or I only know him as the uh, did you say Ultron or yeah Ultron I mean he's no, he's in it Ultron's Ultron's the or fucking, Jarvis, Jarvis. He's okay, Jarvis. I was gonna say Ultron's the voice actor guy. He's he's because he's so Ultron. He's Vision. Yeah, hey, I don't know him. Ultron's that one dude that's in everything, and he does the exact. Oh, that guy. Oh, I didn't even realize that was who he was in in uh. To Dicky. Oh, I didn't. Dickie. I didn't pickpocket and get a smoke bomb. So now I'm screwed. I guess I could just fucking go for it. So far, this game does not punish me for going for it. <laughs> so, 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 and, oh, I'm fucking dead. So that was a uh, our Assassin's Creed for the day, and our loot crate for the month. Happy what third anniversary of Dusty Gamers? Yeah, I think so. Uh, this is our first fourth loot crate. So yeah. Is it our fourth loot crate? Did Forza? And we did uh, whatever Watch Dogs. I don't remember the second one. There was a second one for sure. <laughs> We've done two here. Oh man. Um, I can pull it up real quick. Yay. We're, we're completely prepared for everything. This, yeah. So far, this feels exactly like the other ones. I don't see why it's so much worse or considered so much worse. Mm. I mean, the last one was a lot like the first one. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. The last one was uh, harder than the first one. That was the only problem I had with it. It was just, like, frustrating to the point where I didn't even want to bother. Yeah, I don't like these type of games. Well, the the Ninja one that they're very similar to, the game they're basically ripping off, is one of my favorite games that come out last generation. What game was it? Uh... I've told me this it's before. stealth something. I can't remember the fucking name, because it's got a really dumbass generic stealth ninja name. Right. Oh, it's Mark of the Ninja. Is what it is. Oh, right, right. He's got he's got the tattoos that are like what his powers are basically. Oh, oh and I'm dead. The face. And we'll be back next time. Next time.